Anthony Calhoun back here live here at the Annapolis Motor Speedway. It is race day, 103rd running of the Indy 500. We're in the garage area here. You see a lot of traffic here taking place here at the Speedway as all these fans trying to get up and close to these drivers as they get ready to go racing here at the Speedway. Joined here now with Spencer Pickett, who's going to start in the front row of the Indy 500. going to be on the outside of road number one there, third position. Congratulations, man. You've had a solid month of May, and now it's time to go racing. How are you feeling going into today's race? Yeah, thank you. I feel really good. You know, obviously, we've got a lot of speed throughout that Carpenter Racing team uh, with all three cars, and uh, it's always a nice feeling going into the race knowing that the car is fast. And uh, we've had a really smooth month. I haven't really had any issues. We've been able to get through a lot of things, a lot of test items throughout practice. So, um, you know, we've had some time to kind of pick and choose what we want to do with the car, and, you know, hopefully, we've made all the right decisions, and we have a really smooth and hopefully successful day. Well, you personally have had your share of kind of dealing with the weather because, you know, just last week during poll qualifications, we, we many thought you may be on the pole. The weather would have rained and we had some tough weather. That wasn't the case. But how do you deal with a day like today? Because it looks like we're going to be able to get this race off to, a, you know, the time that's, you know, they expect to start this race. But we may deal with some weather throughout the race. How do you focus on that? You just kind of keep going and, you know, whatever happens, happens, I guess. Uh, I know everyone on the pit stand will be watching the radars really close. And, uh, you know, until we get to lap 101, uh, the weather doesn't really mean much. You know, after that, they can officially call it a race. So I'm sure it'll be maybe a little more exciting earlier in the race than most people expect. If the rain's coming, everyone will want to try and be up front. Well, you've been so fortunate in your career to be with some solid teams. And your thoughts on just being with Ed Carpenter, I mean, you talked about just the qualifications for you guys. You, you got Ed also joining you on the front row. You got Jones on the, just, just right behind you guys and row number two. I mean, what has it been like having that type of team and that type of support right now? Oh, it's been great. You know, I think it's just a, a great group of people that, that Ed's been able to put together and, you know, having him as a teammate has been fantastic. I've really learned a lot from him. Um, you know, he's someone that always has the answer to, to a question you have because he's, he's been around a while. He's seen pretty much every different circumstance here at the, the Speedway. So it's really great to have him. And, um, you know, like you said, we've got three really fast cars. The whole team's been working really well together. And, um, you know, I think that's just going to make us even stronger in the race. All right, so Spencer, tell the folks at home, do you, do you have any rituals before for race day? anything that you do no not really uh, I know some guys maybe you know get in on a certain side of the car or have to have a certain breakfast or whatever but for me it's just uh, you know kind of go with the flow and whatever happens happens they always say patience is the key and I also think pit stops are critical too if you're gonna win this race would, would you agree with that though what, what is the key to try to possibly get yourself in position to win this race yeah both of those things are really important you know it's such a long race if you're too aggressive early on it can really bite you and uh, you know ruin your day and the same thing in the pits you know if you're too aggressive trying to get in or out of the pit lane you can get a penalty um, you know if you have a mistake in the box it can can end your day as well so I think it it takes uh, perfect execution to have a chance at winning this race All right Spencer thank Thank you so much, man. Good luck to you. Spencer Pickett here, of course, is going to start on the outside of roll number one, third position here for today's 103rd running of the Indy 500. Okay.